Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the bomb, drag and drop it onto Ida Pro. Say OK. I'll load it up. Here we are. Okay. So what do we do? What's the first part of the uh, the algorithm? Look at the import address table. All right. Look at the imports. Unhandled exception filter. Get current process. Terminate process. Get tick count. Sleep. It's gonna sleep. Exit. F open printf ASCII to integer F get sterling. What else? What else do we do? What else is in that algorithm? Alright. Let's take a look at the strings. Go ahead and take a look at the strings. There's a bunch of uh, CMU server names in here because the bomb lab originally came from Carnegie Mellon course. They teach it, they have a Linux version that they use to teach it. Um, Matt or Zeno got the code and um, converted it to compile with Visual Studio. So we'll, that's what we're using here. Um, but other than that, anything jump out at you in the strings? Anything interesting? Wow, you can use the secret stage. Oh, so there might be a secret stage in here. Custom powers is also in there. Fun. Yeah. Does it tell you there's six stages? Hmm? It's telling me it looks my thing is a little bomb, yes, it's phases. So I think it's got six. So there are multiple phases to this bomb. Well, it did appear true, right? Right, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not lying. It's an extra algorithm. Yeah. So what else is part of the algorithm? Dynamic analysis. Dynamic analysis, yes. So what you're going to be doing, this is not malware. You're going to be running this. Uh, what we're going to have to do, though, is rename it. Um, actually, I'm curious. I may not actually have to rename it. Let's see, CD desktop labs. Hey, you don't actually have to rename it. Hey. So what I did, let me make sure that everybody, I'll like get out of this on the same page here. What I did is I went to start, run, cmd, enter to bring up the command prompt. And it starts us off, starts us off in the document settings MITRE directory, which we will cd into the desktop. And then from there, CD into labs. And then run bomb.ex underscore. Um, for those who don't know, Windows does have tab completion. So I just typed bomb tab. Can you magnify your yeah. Um. Oh, increase. Mm, maybe. Okay. Uh, I've obviously never used Windows Magnifier before. Okay, hold on. Accessibility Magnifier. Okay, so bomb.ex. What I did is I typed that in. And 
I don't know what I need to do. Selected, enter. Okay, I press enter, and what we get is welcome to my fiendish little bomb. You have six phases with which to blow yourself up. Have a nice day. So it's it's each of these phases is basically going to ask you for a password to move on to the next phase or passphrase, um, which you have to find out by reverse engineering. Um, so let's try password. All good passwords are passwords. Enter. Boom. So what might we want to do? What information do we have that we might want to use to, to identify where to look to find the passphrase that it's required? Huh? In the strings file. In the strings file? Yeah. I, yeah, it's in the strings file. Or in the, not the strings file, in the strings window. It's in the strings window? Yeah. What's in the strings window? The password. The password is in the strings window. That's crazy. Who would ever do that? <laughs> How do you know which of the strings is the is the right one? You really want to know. <laughs> Have you done this before? Because we did this one in the intro to x86 class. Uh, we didn't go through the entire thing though. I only remember the first round. Okay. Well, the first round I'm I'm kind of walking you through, and the rest of them you're gonna do on your own with some guy 